2, quite a few of PlayStation 3 games. Um, so first I'm gonna tell you about the price. So I did pay $6,500 for my arcade machine. Bring that a little bit closer. It just cut off. It's not off, it's still on. The screen is on. Oh, okay. okay. How do I go close, just walk in? Okay, let's just stop it. <laughs> Okay, uh, some of the systems that are on here, every system is on here. Nintendo, Atari, Super Nintendo, Sega, Sega Genesis, Sega Saturn, Sega CD, um, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, uh, a, quite a few PlayStation 3 games. Uh, I don't know exactly how they fit on here or how they got licenses for them, but it's pretty incredible. Uh, like I said, there's 65,000 games on here. Um, I want to tell you that it costs, this, my machine in particular cost $6,500. There are several other setups that are cheaper, but this is the mega cage, like the grandfather of all arcade machines. So this is the best one money can buy. It comes with attachments and other features that you can put on here, like extra LED lighting, I don't know, some other things. You can check with the website, but mine's came with uh, a bit extra for the guns. The guns do have recoil, so they're pretty loud whenever you shoot them. Um, also, I want to tell you about shipping. So when you order your arcade machine, you have to put down a deposit, $500, perhaps $250. And um, the company is red, ran by a guy named David. And what he, he, he emails you and asks you what specifications you want on your machine. Um, also, while it takes six months for them to build the machine, so I didn't, I wasn't prepared to wait six months. After I put down a deposit, I found out that it took six months. So meanwhile, while I waited, I went online and searched for a Sumo system, and Sumo Sys, S-U-M-O-S-Y-S, and this little guy is freaking fantastic, so I'm so glad that I found it. But it has everything that this has, and this only costs 200 bucks. Not trying to underplay this because some people want the nostalgia of an arcade machine. But this did not have, of course, guns and uh, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, Play PlayStation 3 games. But all arcade games, Super Nintendo. But anyways, this little guy is not what I'm here for right now. Next, I want to get into the shipping. So how the shipping happened is that um, I was under the impression that once my mach arcade machine was shipped here, I was expecting for the shipper to like have it in separate parts and bring the parts in and then assemble it inside my home. What I didn't know is that when it showed up, it was completely intact. So I had to find a way to get it inside my door. Luckily, I have double doors to get inside my home, but before the double doors, there's a courtyard and it's a standard 27 inch door frame like everyone has. And so I had to find a way to take it apart. So um, first thing you can bring in, I had to take off just the actual joystick area. And once I got this off, it only took me like perhaps 15 minutes to get all the screws out. And then I brought it in by myself. It weighs about 400 pounds. Another thing is the, the damages. So um, David, the owner of the company, said that if there's any damages, don't accept the package, don't sign for it. But I didn't want to wait, I don't know, another six months for to get my, an another machine. So I just accepted it and just took my losses. So if we bring it in right here, um, I'm pretty sure that this didn't happen when they, when they built it, but it probably happened, the shippers probably perhaps broke it. Also, um, one thing, I'm not complaining, but about the quality of the workmanship, this is the little volume control, and the volume control uh, is supposed to stick to this with just glue, it's pretty pathetic, but when I brought it in the house, it just fell off. I didn't do anything to touch it or rip it off, it just fell off, so that's pretty piss poor, but I'm not complaining, I'm happy with my machine. Um, another thing, my gun, I was expecting my guns to, to be calibrated. The very first game that I played was House of the Dead Part 2, which was one of my favorite shooters. And when I was shooting, it was, it was doing a recoil, but 
it was just all over the place. I couldn't reload or shoot zombies. And I never got around to calibrating the weapons, and which I don't feel like it because I don't have a lot of free time. But other than that, the arcade machine. Strong. 